Welcome back to Chaos Corner. It's your old buddy, the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. I'll say that to say this, coming to you again from the lounge here at Chaos Corner, and we have a special edition here of the show, and that's going to be The Complete Idiot's Guide to Pro Wrestling by Captain Lou Albano and Burt Randolph Sugar, a match made in heaven. Now, if you go back uh, the history of the last couple of years here on uh, Chaos Corner on the YouTube channel, you'll see that we did a bunch of reviews from a complete idiot's guide to pro wrestling. Listen, this was, this was written back in the late 90s, was released in 1999. This is over two decades ago, but it's relevant today in today's industry. And to give you a little synopsis, or to look back, so to speak, as to what was going on. And for those who paved the way here in the pro wrestling industry, the IWC, if you will. So this was spur of the moment. I like to carry on the tradition. I want to give back. I want to thank you everyone for being here. Uh, kick back, grab a beverage, uh, grab something to eat, a snack. Uh, we're going to be on here for a little while, maybe a half an hour. We're going to cover one chapter at a time like we always do. And remember... Follow me on all social media platforms, and you know what they are. Here on the Mothership Guardian of Chaos on YouTube, on Twitter in real time, it's at Big Daddy GOC, and the GOC stands for the Guardian of Chaos. If you hit that profile link on Twitter, that will knock you over to here on Guardian of Chaos on YouTube. It's the Guardian of Chaos on Instagram. On Facebook, there's two accounts, J Brony and Protigio Fidelis El Guardian. Now I post every day on all those accounts or just about every other day. And then of course there's Rumble, Gitter, Gab, Truth Social, Parlor. I cover it all in the IWC, a one man show, unique and unscripted. That's what you get here at Chaos Corner. I cover everything from AEW to the WWE, to MLW, to Impact, to New Japan, to Ring of Honor, to the NWA. I may have said that already. And of course, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling locally with the Paradise 4, my home. We cover it all from coast to coast and border to border, from pillar to post with the, it's me. It's me, it's the GOC. So we're gonna relax. Again, go back and look at the shows. We just got finished covering Ric Flair's uh, last match and that whole pay-per-view. We covered SummerSlam. Uh, we covered AEW Dynamite. We covered Rampage. We have the pay-per-views coming up. We're just coming out of Battle of the Belts. We know that Vince has retired. Stephanie and Triple H are back. And there seems to be a lot of buzz around the WWE. And of course, the last three years and what AEW has done. So, and let's not forget about the other groups that are running solid shows. Again, I, I already said N NWA and MLW and Impact. And, and now that Tony Khan is with Ring of Honor and merging with New Japan. And you, you look at even what Jim Crocker Promotions and StarCast did uh, for Ric Flair's last match. And that whole show, they had like five or six different organizations. And let's not forget the Lucha Libre uh, influence, who if you think about it, North American, United States style, style of pro wrestling is really null and void. It doesn't really exist that much anymore. Uh, and that's good sound technical grappling. If you look at today's product, especially AEW, it's like watching Lucha Libre. I mean, it, it's really become a South American uh, a luchador uh, it, you know, influence, not then throw in the Japanese style. So if you think about it, the North American wrestling style uh, that we traditionally know back to the NWA and the AWA and, you know, back to the 40s and 50s, even the shooters like uh, uh, Lou Fez and, and so on and so forth. And then you get into the WWF and uh, WCW, even ECW, totally different than what we see today. We've covered a lot of things here uh on a complete idiot's guide. Again, I want you, we're going to flash back to history. Stay here with me. I don't know if I'm going to do this in segments. We've covered a lot of different things on the history of pro wrestling from this book. This is a guide for all of those people that are in the business, out of the business. I've lent this out about 50 times. I've read it probably 50 or 100 times. Go back and check out the live to tape. 
We are here on a Monday. I like to start off the week. We have uh, Raw tonight. We have a uh, AEW Dark and Dark Elevation. We have uh, NXT, MLW, AEW Dynamite is, is going to be big this week. Leading into the pay-per-views coming up, there's a lot of things going on. Impact on Thursdays. Let's see what's in store for the IWC. But in the meantime, we're going to flash back and throw it back with your old buddy, the GOC. Let's take a little uh, sip of the beverage here. We got a... You see the sun is coming up. Uh, we made it nice here in the lounge. We haven't been down in the bunker, although I just came up from the bunker. I got to get my wings, folks. I haven't had coffee yet. So we're back here on Chaos Corner. We're going to cover Lucky Chapter 13. You know the different sidebars and notes if you're going back. You probably have to go back four, five, six months ago, uh, even to last year, to see the first uh, several shows on what I did for the uh, Complete Idiots Guide to Pro Wrestling. And I, the different chapters and things and that I've discussed for history and knowledge and learning and ring psychology and emotional investment. Things that you fans need to know. My over 50 years as a fan, a mark, a smart, a scout, a historian... Uh, I know what I'm talking about and then throw in my over three decades performing as a pro wrestling manager, as a personality, a talent, if you will. And then, of course, still currently broadcasting on Fight TV for Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. I mean, it does it for guys that worked under the guidance of Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So to give you the insight of what you get here on Chaos Corner, again, I'm repeating no producer, no paywalls, no Patreon. I'm not asking anybody for anything except to subscribe and have fun and spread the knowledge. This is my stress reliever and for me to give back to you. And in 2022, during a long, hot summer, don't we need something like this? Someone like me? And speaking of that, I just want to give a big praise and shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, none of this is possible. And without you guys, none of this is possible. So chapter 13, this is what we're going to cover. Again, I'm going to read. That's why we have the background, no copyrights, no infringements. Uh, this is for, uh, you, you know, for the, the channel here on Chaos Corner. So that's why I'll continue to ramble on. And I might skip a couple of things here. We were talking about sidebars and different things. We'll have Captain Lou's Corner, which is Captain Lou Albano. We'll have Bert's Corner, which will be Bert Randolph Sugar. We have the WrestleMania sidebars. These will be little notes and tidbits that will go along in the chapter. We'll have In Your Face segment. So just the different things that we're going to cover here today. And uh, we're going to cover in this chapter... In the cage and caged matches, barbed wire matches, pint-sized but pugnacious midget minis wrestlers, whatever you want to call it, we're not here to be politically correct. Crossover dreams, athletes from other sports, sports that join the fray, and a smorgasbord of wild rituals. Again, I'm going to read this to you as if we're in school, so school is in session, sit back kick back and relax and let's see if we can try to get through this we're eight minutes in almost 10 minutes in so this might take a little while because i'm going to read it should i cut it up into two segments what are your thoughts those are that's what we're going to cover here so we're talking about this so maybe we'll cut it up into two seconds this two segments this will be the first segment we're almost 10 minutes and i'll put it up onto youtube as a premiere and then we're going to come back and cover chapter not 13. Again, you know what Bully Ray said to me, what, 15, 16 years ago uh, while we were in the NWA uh, uh, run there for the World Tag Team titles. I was managing the Outcast Killers, Oman Tortuga and Diablo Santiago uh, for Northeast uh, against the Dudley Boys, Team 3D, Bubba Ray, Bully Ray, and Devon, if you will. He said, give the Guardian of Chaos six spots, five spots, and he'll fuck up for him. I consider that to be a compliment. Coming from a two-time Wall of Famer, Bully Ray, busted open radio, still a badass to this day. Does it get better than that? I mean, so, it's chapter 15. Novelty acts. This ain't no circus sideshow. Stay with us. Come on back. Chaos Corner. A complete idiot's guide to pro wrestling. I'm coming right back, fans. Hurry up. Don't you dare miss it. <laughs> 